Welcome back to Angry Badger Minis. We're trying out a new camera setup to get uh, prepared for painting and that kind of thing. Um, so uh, it kind of limits my painting space at the moment, but I'm trying to see how this looks to you guys. Um, I've kind of figured out some more of the camera settings, and this is a model that I painted, you know, some time ago. But um, I feel like we might be, you know, on the way. Uh, don't mind all the glue all over my hands. <laughs> That's what this stuff is. Um, but uh, anyway, if you do me a favor, please uh, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. The comments and the likes are the biggest things. And we've also started a Patreon um, with a rewards program that if we're able to meet, you know, our um, our goal every month, then we're going to give out a um, a starter. Uh, start collecting set um, for the the random winners uh, choice so this is what we're looking at as far as actual you know at least for now the painting uh, this will help you know kind of clear things up for when we actually get you know to um, you know to working on the actual models just to give you a comparison of uh, a, a general painting style now I painted this this uh, Terminator from the Blood Angels, I'm sorry, from the Space Hulk, Space Hulk box. Um, I think this was back in, my gosh, 2014, I believe, is when I painted this. Um, and as you can see, he's not all the same color all the way around. There's some darker light, uh, darker shades and things like that. And the whole idea was to catch the gloom of the Space Hulk and only have the zenithal or really i'm sorry the, the light source being at the front of the model you know where it would mostly be um versus you know seeing the entire model in the clear um so yeah that's I, i've really been working on this i appreciate that but as you can see it's it's a lot more you know it's it's a lot darker back here than it is in the front um and that's that's kind of the goal i'm going for with all of those when i finally get around to them um, having, you know, looking at this now, uh, I realized that while I thought maybe I might have been done, <laughs> I forgot to do anything on here and I forgot to do anything on his leg. That's crazy. Um, I must have been too excited about the paint job. Who knows? But I've got, but since then I've done other painting and I've got, uh, you know, some other techniques and stuff I'm, I'm, you know, looking forward to trying and uh don't be surprised if this bad boy right here gets uh you know reprimered or um <laughs> and have to start over because i'm just one of those guys it's uh i need everything to match oh my gosh look at that here's another one um that i forgot and back here but of course back here you probably wouldn't make out the words really um so yeah i'm hoping you guys are liking this so what we're working on now um we're also looking at trying to do a second camera and I'm just curious what you guys would like to see um, you know if, if there's a different angle you want to see because obviously with this it's very close up and now I have my game plan for actually painting uh, how's the sound right now Cameron is it pretty good to go I'm also uh, we're, we're, we're steadily getting you know on to our death company here's our death comp one of our death company dreadnoughts um, I have decided that I'm going to make three of them um, good I, I'm, I've decided I'm gonna make three of them and uh, I have two right now we've also let's see here we've completed putting together at least and then of course you know the camera's real low here so I apologize but we've completed you know 50 uh, 50 tactical marines um, and I, if you watched my other video talking about the magnetization uh, and what was going on there like I said I, I realized that it would have benefited me better to have you know a devastator squad of say long-range heavy machine guns I don't care about the meta I don't care about you know what's you know tournament competitive I just care about you know having fun um, so I recovered my magnets, you know, from from the model, and then I found some other Space Marine bits and things that I had, and I went ahead and made those heavy flamer guys. 
Um, obviously, there's a lot of cleanup work that needs to be done, but the goal here was to, you know, to, to get them put together and playable, and then I'll work on the rest of that later. And for those of you that might have missed it, I cannot, I mean, I mean, I just cannot tell you how awesome these sanding twigs are. They come in, you know, uh, I got it off of Amazon.com and you just have to feel it. It doesn't tell you uh, exactly what the, you know, the grit is, but man, are these things amazing. Um, they just, they really are. And then your helpful tip is to make sure that you glue the tips so that they don't unravel as you're working on it. Um, but yeah, so uh, I also put together, oh, I meant to tell you, so this sergeant right here, he's got a hand flamer, you know, as you can see on him. Um, let me see if we can get focused there. Uh, but I barely glued him on, so that way I am going to actually snap that off again when it's time to paint him and whatnot, and um, uh, magnetize that because of all the different weapons. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to find five more Marines, uh, which I'm sure I have plenty, five more Marines that are going to go with this group that will have uh, a special weapon magnetization to them. I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, man, these, uh, these Space Marines, as beautiful as they are, my gosh, were they a pain in the butt to put together. And for the exact reason that I talked about before uh, regarding, sorry, regarding right here, okay? It doesn't the weapon doesn't come down on it it goes in to glue and man is it a pain in the butt and so um, you know they're beautiful models but again you know I guess they've got their their pros and cons and I went ahead with the power fist and not for any other reason honestly than to just give him more uh, more flair I thought it was pretty cool so um, Anyway, and I really like uh, for the sergeants, I gave them the chest pieces with the, you know, the um, abs and the pectorals and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, yeah, so I'm pretty pretty happy with all of that. Um, we're also working on, well, I've, I've already put him together, uh, a Lamartes, you know. Um, I'm trying to remember what, what the heck... Uh, um, I don't know, Keeper of the Lost or Keeper of the Damned or something like that. I forget his name. Obviously, this is an older model. Um, there will be, you know, a little bit of cleanup. Um, for the naked eye, you can't really tell what's going on, but uh, with this camera, obviously, you can. Um, so this is going to be, some, you know, this is this is a special character. He's going to be what helps me field an entire Death Company army. Um, and uh, I like this model a lot better than the Dante model. I think the Dante model is absolutely ridiculous. Um, so I'm even contemplating trying to figure out a way to make my own Dante model out of possibly a jump pack guy or something like that. And um, But I mean, he's what I've done is I've made him a little bit higher to stand out more with some cork. And then added some gravel from my yard just to break up the cork. And then we will add some sand and stuff like that. I'm a big proponent, uh, like most people I think out there, where I want to get the base, at least the majority of the base, you know, planned out and done prior to any type of painting or anything like that, because then I don't have to worry about going back and getting, you know, paint or anything on the model. So we've got that going. Um, and right now, what we're working on is we've got uh, basically well, we've got ten assault marines. And then we've got, uh, not counting the ones that are in this box, this old box of, you know, bits and stuff. The, as you can see, the, the death company in there, all these old jump packs. And then we've got these, uh, you know, Blood Angel specific jump packs that are really nice. Um, but I'm trying to remember, let's see. Hold on, I can tell you right now. 5, 10, 15, 20. We have 25 uh, plastic death company uh, models that I'm putting together along with 10 assault marines. All of them will be jump pack or, or assault But what I'm planning on trying to do I'm gonna it's gonna take me a little bit. This army might take me a little bit longer because uh, Kind of like the Black Templars. I'm, I'm really enjoying putting them together and they've got a lot of little, you know, flare whiz-bang widgets on them 
Um, and I, I think that I might be able to use, I might be able to magnetize, uh, these death company. Um, it's not going to be the priority, but we'll see. Um, thought you guys, now that we got the camera going, I thought you guys might like to see this little bad boy right here. Um, this was, as you can see, this is not a very good paint job. It's horrible paints. You know, it is what it is, but, um, this is one of my football players, Pittsburgh Steelers, that we painted about mm, seven, eight years ago. And uh, we've got a, a New Orleans Saints team as well. Um, you know, obviously the light's going to bring out every little perfection. It's just, the, you know, the glory of, of cameras, if you will. Um, and uh, But I plan on, you know, having one of each team at some point. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go college football or anything like that, but I made my own football game. Blood Bowl is too annoying, and uh, the game that I made is a lot more fun, kinetic, and, and um, you know, just all-around fun. So, let's see here. Um, we've still got, what we've got left is these assault marines. We've got... Uh, you know, three boxes of assault terminators. They're not going to really fit in the camera right now, so I apologize. Um, that we've got to put together and uh, Land Raider Crusader. We've got this bad boy right here, um, Librarian and Terminator armor. Thankfully, he is not fine cast. Oh my gosh! But I do unfortunately have uh, a fine cast model, and I mean, it doesn't look bad. But it's, you know, the Chaplain and Terminator armor. And now I'll need to put some stuff on him as well. Um, but, and then we've got the sang Sanguinary, oops, uh, Sanguinary Priest. And uh, I'm going to make sure that I put a helmet on this dude because I don't like that. I don't like his head. He's too girly. But one thing I wanted to show you guys is, my wife got me these um, swatches. These are straight from... Uh, these are straight from Lowe's, you know, the hardware store, and they can color match this stuff. And you can get acrylic paint, you know, acrylic, uh, you know, indoor, outdoor, whatever you want. You could probably get the primer if you want to. And I mean, you've got it all. All you got to do is thin it down, put it in your airbrush, and boom, you know, there you go. Um, also, um, you know, if, if you don't want to use an airbrush, you could still do the same thing, uh, you know, with, with your brush, just thin your paints. What'd you say? You've got W-O? I've got WO. I don't know what you're saying. Um, but, I, Wolf Lord, okay, gotcha, on Thunder Wolf, right on. I know that this works because I used green for my Adeptus Titanicus uh, Warlord Titan that's still not finished painting, but it came out awesomely smooth. Um, if you take a look at, you know, I think it's in my first video, maybe my second. I, I don't, I don't, I think it's my first video. You'll see that paint job, and it is smooth. And you're getting a, you know, you're getting a big, a big tub of this stuff. You know, I mean, I can, you know. It, you can't put one hand around it unless you've got some kind of giant meat hook, you know, abominable snowman hand. But uh, anyway, um, this this is a, a low cost way to get a ton of paint, guys. Um, and, and I mean, unless you're really particular, you know, about whatever, I, I'm telling you, it works. Um, you just, you know, just thin your paints, you know, as, as you know they say, and uh, and it will definitely pay off. So. Don't 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 discount this. Um, you know, l uh, look at it to a point of, you know, that you can uh, you can broaden your your source or you know and and broaden your budget really. So something else I wanted to share with you on that. Um, but other than that, all we're working on now, like I said, is we've got all these all these Marines we're putting together and uh unfortunately at this point this is about as far as i can zoom and uh 
you know, I mean, depending on what you're looking at. And hopefully the light's okay. I mean, if you saw my setup right now, you, you might laugh. Um, you know, I've got a couple things zip tied to one another and, um, you know, but I mean, if this is what it's gonna, if this is how things are gonna, you know, work out so that I can show you how I paint and you can see things transform, I mean, that, it's gonna be amazing. Um, hopefully down the road, you know, through Patreon support and stuff like that, we'll be able to, you know, get better as far as camera gear and things like that. And eventually I plan on, you know, moving everything downstairs um, to some point uh, where everything is. Right now we're upstairs, you know, actually in my my office. But, you know, it's still working out. We're still busting them out. And, uh, you know, the great thing is, is, you know, the method that I'm using is working out just great. Um, you know, just to give you an idea of the progress that we're at with these guys, move this. We have all their bodies put together as well. Um, now they're, I, you know, obviously most of them only go on with one foot, um, but that's also all I glued because I also plan on going back before I paint these these guys and putting uh, something underneath to where it looks like they're, you know, actually jumping or something like that, you know, in the air or what have you. Um, but yeah, so we're we're getting there. I, I feel like, you know, especially with the uh, the YouTube channel itself, we're getting there. I'm looking into doing some actual video editing, so most of our stuff isn't always live. And, um, you know, maybe it'll, the voiceovers will be a little bit better, and we can, you know, do some clips and things like that. So, um, But also on my Patreon, I've got a couple of, or I've got a poll on there, you know, about uh, who wants to, uh, and it's, you know, you don't have to be a member uh, to look at it. Um, you know, what army do we put together next after the Blood Angels? Do we do Space Wolves or do we do, God forbid, the Tau? I'm sure some of you will, you know, say the Tau uh, just because you know that I don't particularly want to. Um, but if that's what it is, that's what it is. And technically they were the next army that was in that case. Um, but my Space Wolves are ready to go as well. Um, I think I'm going to magnetize the heads because again I'm not a real big fan of the helmetless marines I might make an exception for the space wolves I don't know but um I think it might it might be worth it to magnetize them so that way I can put helmets or whatever on because I do have some helmets that have like a wolf helmet and I think that would be kind of a neat thing to have uh versus just some dude running around with long beard and his you know his hair but I, I realize that that's you know part of who they are so anyway so again if you like what you're seeing please leave a comment let us know how we can improve and uh you know like share and subscribe and, and again please share it and uh we will see you next time